So on my stage, I have 11 panels and it ends with the crack just starting to open up. But in my assets, I've built now a lot of different components. And I needed to build all those components of like the creature growing out and becoming full size. But I've needed all of these components in order to, to have the shell kind of fall away and have the two sides of the shell, this side and this side. So I'm going to open it up. Let's see. Just going to go ahead and draw on the inside of the shell a little bit. Slightly. And maybe erase away from some of this glow that I burned. The creature is kind of sitting in there, standing in there. But the creature is going to be covered up so far by, let's see, what part of it? By this part of it, I believe. Yes. So now let's get the other side. And it starts to open up. So all of that kind of works. So it's going to go from this now to this. And I have to move the clouds. Can't forget those things if I've already set them in motion. And now I'm going to start with the highest aspect of the, the mist. And then I'm going to start going backwards from then on. So I'll indicate that by changing its color. And like I've been showing so many of you, just the repetition of this workflow. Once you've set your frame, you hold down Option, you go to the, the top layer that has an eyeball, and you say, hold down Option, Layer, Merge, Visible. It gives you a, a merged, copied layer at the top. You select All, and then you do Command-C to copy. Then you go to your stage, and you do Command-V to paste it in. And then you do you go back to your assets, you hit Command-D to deselect, you delete that merge layer, and then you build your next frame. So this time, this one's going to fall away a little bit as it gets pushed. And I can warp the bottom a little so it fits in. It's hard to do an irregular sized egg. Oh, I see why. Let me do it with this too. Get a little okay, and then same thing with 
other side. I want to remember where the original foot was. I just want to warp it a bit at the base. Let's see, do I want that to be my next frame? It's not explosive enough, so I think what I want to do now is push this creature not fully out, but at least the beak out. So how can I do that? Well, I can internally composite the parts that cover up the body. So all of the assets are there, I just have to organize them and build them in a way that makes sense. Burn it a little bit in that shadow. And when his arms break out, I think then I'm going to kind of blow the, the top parts away. Let's move the clouds. And let's start decreasing the mist. Then hold down Option, go to Layer, Merge Visible, select All, Command C to copy, Command V to paste it on. Command D to deselect from your assets. Delete the merge layer, and we start building the next. So I know I want my creature to kind of bust out at this point, but I want these fragments to start shattering. So I'm going to duplicate them and then start cutting them, cutting them out. Doing cutouts onto their own layers. So it'll be a little silly looking, but that's what GIF animations are all about. So now I have these two components. I'm going to go ahead and put a stroke around each of them. Let's do instead a satin overlay. And just draw around them kind of loosely, kind of cartoonishly. Show these different fragments. Give it a satin overlay. And now I can kind of move them out on their own. Nice thing about chaos is it's chaotic. So I can shrink them, I can enlarge them, I can hold down shift and distort them a little bit, rotate them at weird ways because they're going to explode out. a little bit as this kind of blows away. You can see the old eye. Maybe I burn that a little bit. Of 
burned it a little too much. Let's dodge it a little bit. And then I just keep keep going with that, making little fragments, kind of like that. I won't blow the legs out yet. So you can see all the creative decisions that need to be made as you're deciding how and what to animate. And that's just kind of the base. Whoops. Okay, so that's that side. Now I gotta do the same thing for the other side. So I'm gonna duplicate. Maybe duplicate all of these together. First, duplicate them and then merge them all. Oops, merge too many. Now, on that duplicate, cut out different parts. Let's see, how would this head break? It would break here and then back like this and then down. Duplicate that piece out. Move it, change it, warp it, distort it. So it's like coming away at a different angle. Rotate it. It's being pushed out by this creature. Next group. That. So I know how I'm going to blow apart the egg now. So I'm just, each next step, I, I know what new assets I need to build. It just takes time and patience building this stuff up. But it's getting there. <laughs> 